Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my skincare routine for the morning um, and I'm going to be doing a review on the products that I use um, and some favorites that I have in the past that I don't use anymore but it's just because I use mainly one brand now that may or may not be available to you. Um, it's called Danae Montague King or DMK which is what I'm going to call it in the rest of the video. I have a couple of these products that I use and they're from a skin clinic that's in my area. Um, they have locations all over the place but there are not many of them. There's only um, locations in five states so I believe they're California, New York, Pennsylvania and two others I can't remember which ones. I will link the website below where you can find the locations but there are actually a lot of locations in the UK and then there are a few in Canada. Um, one just happens to be in my city and I go there because my boyfriend's mom actually is an accountant for her and so I actually get these products for free um, but because like they're my birthday and Christmas presents um, but they are very expensive but for good reason so I just wanted to make that disclaimer right now that you may not have easy access to these products and you can't order them online you have to go to a clinic to get them um, and they would have to recommend them for you and everything I also get facial treatments at that clinic um, not so much anymore because my skin has obviously cleared up um, I used to have very very bad acne it was well I wouldn't say very bad but um, it was classified as moderate to severe, so that is pretty bad. Now I just have a lot of scarring. Um, I'm actually showing you my bare face in the video, so you'll see it and I explain it to you. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you what I use to actually clear up my skin. Um, it, I relied on the facial treatments um, that really extracted everything because I had cystic acne, so you really have to extract that. Changing your diet also really helps. Eating clean um, is the best way to remove toxins from your body. Um, drinking water especially, oh my goodness, drinking water is of utmost importance and then also these products are amazing and birth control. Birth control is what really cleared up my acne because it's hormonal and that's from within. I go through exactly what products and what birth control I use in the video so um, this is my morning routine so if you want to watch the nighttime routine that'll be up in the near future. There's a lot more products than that obviously because there's masks and that kind of thing that you do at nighttime. I hope you like this video and I hope it helps you and yeah, so I will talk to you guys in the video. So the first step is to get this hair out of the way. Um, and I don't put, just put it in a ponytail because it'll fall in the sink. So I put it all the way up and back into a bun. And I use these type of hair ties so that it doesn't make a bump in my hair because I usually want to just do my hair afterwards and I don't want like an ugly ponytail bump. I obviously have to take these pieces out because I'm on YouTube, so. I actually get started, I just wanted to show you the condition of my skin right now. Um, I used to have a lot of acne throughout my cheeks and my chin. I still have some acne on my chin, um, but the main acne is gone and I don't have really cystic acne anymore. I used to have really bad hormonal cystic acne where it's under the skin and they're huge like boils basically and they're really painful and they leave scars a lot of the time because they're just, they basically, um, like any way to extract them is to make a hole in your skin and then that is obviously going to leave a scar most likely. So I have a lot of scars, um, a lot of hyperpigmentation because you can see them but a lot of them aren't even bumpy. Um, this side is even worse. Some of the scars are actually um, like dark, little dark freckle spots that have happened over time. On my chin I have a lot of scars as well and then this is really bumpy because this is a lot of like um, kind of smaller pimples and uh, what are they called? Blackheads. So the first product I use is the Acne Wash by DMK and I'm going to read you this description that's online because this one isn't as clear. Revise acne with DMK's Acne Wash. It's compatible base formulation of benzoyl peroxide acts to stop congestion without drying up the skin. It's suitable for cystic inflamed acne or clients with clogged or congested skin congested skin. So that's basically what this is. Um, it has benzoyl peroxide and not salicylic acid. I really don't like that stuff. All it does is leave a film on my face and it doesn't, um, it actually breaks me out. I used to use that when I was in grade 8 and 9. It has 2.5 benzoyl peroxide in it and I used to have um, another layer of benzoyl peroxide that I put on afterwards and it was 5% but that's when I had acne and I was clearing it up. Now it's just maintaining so I just use the cleanser. It's just a very general cleanser. All you do is wet your face and you use a really small amount because because of the benzoyl proxy you don't want to use too much. I just use circular motions and then I rinse it off. So the next product I'm using is the Herb and Mineral I always say herb, it's probably herb, isn't it? Yes. Um, so I use the Herb and Mineral um, Moisture Storing Spray, and this is, of course, another product by DMK. 
and I'm going to read this one to you too. Infuse your skin with the instant blend of vitamins, minerals, and trace elements contained in DMK's signature spray. It's the binder for all DMK facial products which, when absorbed into the skin, facilitate tissue hydration and the deep penetration of DMK creams and serums. Um, and this mist can also be sprayed over makeup, apparently, which I just read this online, I wish I knew this before, um, to brighten and wake up tired skin. So that's really cool, I'm going to be trying that. So I spray this all over my face. I want to explain the smell to you, but I really, I really don't know. It just smells really clean and pretty. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of fruit and root extracts in here, if you read the ingredients. Um, and I think that's probably what contributes to the smell and the fresh, like, feeling on your face. Um, so I spray a couple sprays, um, just to get on my main part of my skin, I guess. Oh, so one second. Always do that. But I get a lot of acne here, and I even get it on my, like, upper lip. Not, like, I don't know, this part. <laughs> so I try to get it on there as much as possible. And then what I use is the Acu Cream, and I'm gonna actually just put this on before I read it to you, because, um, I need to make sure this sets into my skin while the mist is still there. This cream is really cool looking. It actually is like a greeny, pearly color, and it's kind of freaky, and I'm really scared of scales, so I don't know why, but this reminds me of like fish scales. It totally isn't, obviously. <laughs> the mist you sprayed on your face beforehand will help this um, kind of rub on really nicely, and it'll almost be like a watery consistency, and it'll help it sink into your skin. If you use this moisturizer without the um, spray, it'll be like a tuggy um, kind of, it won't really do anything, it, it needs the spray. I'm going to read what this actually does. Your cream controls congested skin through mildly exfoliating dead skin cells and purifying and controlling excess sebaceous oil. AccuCream is specially formulated for congested skin which displays fast cell prol proliferation, excess sebum, and a crusty thickened textured skin. So when your skin is producing more oil, it's because you are actually lacking it and that's why you would moisturize your skin. So this really helps with that and it also exfoliates which is really important. So this product is not part of that line. It's an eye cream and it's the Olay Pro X Eye Restoration Complex. And I got this in a Lux box, actually, and it, it was a full-size sample. It's huge. I've been using this ever since last year, this, this exact one, and I actually have two of them from a Glim box and a Lux box, I believe. Or two Lux boxes. But the full size of this actually retails for something like $60, or maybe even more than that. I don't know if I'd pay the full retail price for this, but I do like it, and I've been using it ever since. Um, I just don't have anything to compare it to, that's the only problem. I wasn't watching and I poured like a ton on my finger. Good job, Becca. So I'm gonna wipe that off because you definitely don't need that much, especially for the daytime. I usually put it on my ring finger, but I forgot, and now I'm gonna put it on <laughs> this finger. Um, and I just put it like all the way out to this part of my eye because this is where I get crow's feet. Yes, I actually already have crow's feet, and I also get kind of like a crease right here from smiling a lot. Um, and I put a little bit on top because... I get kind of dry eyelids. So now I'm done with that and now it's time for sunscreen. Um, I always put sunscreen on um, because I have acne scarring, that's the main reason. And if you have acne scarring and hyperpigmentation like this, if you go out into the sun and try and cover that with a tan basically, some people's mentality is to get darker skin so it blends in, these will actually get darker. Um, they attract the sunlight and you can really like scar your skin even worse. I use this Leo Welly one, it's a sample size, um, I got it last year and it's SPF 45 PA++. I really like this sunscreen. It's actually really um, smooth and it's not oily at all. It actually says um, it protects your skin from UVA and UVB at the same time. It lasts without, it lasts long without stickiness. I'm gonna consider buying this one again or just find a new one that's the same, like similar effect. Um, I'm sure you could find any other one, but this one came from a website called prettyandcute.com and it was in a set of four different things. Came with BB cream, um, two BB creams, a sunscreen in that pearl base that I always use. I'm just gonna put some sunscreen all over my face and I will get back to you. It smells so good. Mm. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is um, these lip balms and a lip scrub that I got from my friend Cassandra. Um, she has her own business with a couple of her friends and they have amazing products. I was so surprised um, well, not surprised because she's awesome and I knew she'd come up with something amazing. So her company is called Perfect Pout. I want to do a full review on this just so I can show you like what it looks like and explain the flavors a little bit more. But I have a lip scrub here and it looks like the Lush one. It's similar to the Lush one, um, but I personally like this better because it's a lot cheaper and they have a lot of flavors too. So I absolutely love this. Um, they also have a moisturizing lip balm that's just basically 
a plain lip balm. Oh my god, I, okay, this smells amazing. I'll explain it in a second. And then they have another one that has the sugar embedded into it, so that way it's a lip balm and a lip scrub. So it's called the Sugar Lip Balm. And then you can take this with you and exfoliate your lips on the go. So I think that's amazing. For now though, I'm just going to be using the um, lip scrub that you use at home. And then I'm going to put some of that moisturizing lip balm on. And this um, smell is caramel. It tastes like caramel. You can eat this off. I don't know if you guys know about the Lush product, probably. Everyone does, I think. Um, but you just put it on your lips like this. It's literally falling into my shirt right now. Oops. <laughs> and then you can lick it off because it tastes like sugar. It basically tastes like a sugar donut. Um, and it's caramel flavored, so I, I'm in love. Oh my gosh. Then, as if the taste couldn't get any better, use the Apple Amour Lip Balm. It tastes like caramel apple. The combinations they, they have, they have also raspberry lemonade, so they have like a, I don't know which one's which, but they have like one product that's lemonade and one product that, that's raspberry, so you use them in conjunction and they taste like the combination. So I have caramel apple, and the apple is just incredible. I've never smelled such a good apple product in my life. It's seriously like the best green apple product I've ever smelled. So yeah, then I use this and it's so moisturizing. I love this lip balm. So I've been really into this one. So since I had mentioned those products that may not be accessible to you guys, um, they may be, it depends um, where you live and stuff and how much you want to spend on your skin. But um, I do have a couple other products that I wanted to show you. I forgot one, oops. I did actually take a break from those products because um, I, for whatever reason, I just didn't go back there for a while. Um, and I had ran out of stuff, so I started using other products, and I was happy with them. I'm obviously way more happy with the products that are high-end and um, really worked for me to clear up my skin. But these were okay at maintaining my skin. So I used the Neutrogena Deep Clean Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. And you probably have seen this one before, it's really popular. It did tighten my skin. This is salicylic acid, but this particular cleanser was actually pretty good. And I, did, I do recommend this one if you guys don't want to spend a whole lot of money on your skin because this is really cheap. Now, in conjunction with this, I actually had a lot of problems in the winter time with dryness. I used this Neutrogena Extra Gentle Cleanser, um, and this is really interesting. It sucks that I already washed my face, so I can't do a demonstration with this, but basically it actually allows you... Um, you don't have to do it this way, but you can use this on your face like with wet skin, you put it on, and then you wipe it off with a tissue, and then it leaves your skin really moisturized. Um, or you can rinse it off, it doesn't matter, but it's cool. It actually kind of reminds me of like a hair conditioner. The way your skin feels, it's, it reminds me of the way your hair feels after a uh, conditioner. So, that's random, but yeah. So the last thing I'm going to talk to you about um, for a product is the Neutrogena, these are all Neutrogena products. You can obviously tell that I really enjoy these products, and they are really good quality. So. Um, yeah, I recommend them. This one's called the Neutrogena Intensified Day Moisture. Um, and it's basically a moisturizer that's pretty heavy for the daytime, but it really does help um, your dry skin and it helps you um, with oil control because you're really moisturizing your skin. Um, and this has SPF 15, which I really like because of what I talked about before. And that's actually all I'm going to say about it because it's just a really good moisturizer. And there's also a, a night cream, which I'll talk about in my next video. I want to say one more thing. Um, I use birth control. That's definitely how I cleared up my skin um, because, as I said, it's hormonal acne. So all these products and my facial treatments that I've had at the actual clinic and this birth control were all three of the things that that help clear up my skin and I also drink a lot of water. I also ate pretty healthy. I eat real I eat extremely clean right now. Um and yeah this one is this is the brand I just I don't know what it's exactly called but yeah so there you go. This is the birth control I use. It works extremely well. My acne's gone. It's completely gone. I have a couple tiny breakouts when I have my period and that's normal. So yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing a nighttime routine that's a lot more intense because there's other masks and things I use like that. Um, so, you know, watch that if you want. It's going to be up in the near future. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!